Effinger's renovation loan required that the building be used for education until the debt is repaid in 2026. So school officials will open Effinger this summer as the district's central office, but relocating comes at an additional price. The school board set aside $100,000 in its capital improvements budget for the move. We've got a very well constructed, uh, energy efficient facility out there that's currently not being used. And, and uh, it's just like a car. If you let it sit and don't use it, uh, it will deteriorate. School board member Kevin Brooks says he strongly supports the move. Brooks says that right now the school board pays to maintain the facilities at Effinger and the old Highland Bell School where the office is currently located. And school officials say Highland Bell is debt free and the county can sell the building once it's empty. We'd like to show you what Effinger looks like inside, but school officials won't let us in because they are taking inventory of what's stored in there. When that's done in early April, the board will convert the existing classrooms into offices, install a new phone and internet system, and move office supplies and furnishings from Highland Bell to Effinger. The move has its opponents. Chris Green ran unsuccessfully for the County Board of Supervisors in November. A lot of times you're just playing long-term politics with, with money, and uh, rather than focusing on hey, these are assets we have and we should be using these to our, our best ability. Some residents think Effinger is too far away from most of the populations to put the central offices there. And the school board should be centrally located where county people have access to them. They're not a private secret society where they should be out in Effinger. Brooks acknowledged that Effinger is inconvenient, even for him. But he says Highland Bell isn't that accessible either, especially for people who live near Effinger. For the Rockbridge Report, I'm Krista Huber.